Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dot Hack GU Volume 1. When we last left off, we had just gotten a summons from the Council of Moon I think it's like the Seven Council? I forget, honestly, but uh, Adelie's kind of freaking out because uh, apparently we're in trouble. Um, yeah, I don't know why she's surprised. I say I was always in trouble. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, before we continue, um, since the last update, I haven't really done too much. Too, too much. Too much. Uh, I thinned out our equipment a little bit. Don't really have too much sitting with us at the moment. I used, I finally used them if you guys had seen them and people are asking. I finally used the texts that we had. Uh, the text of power. We had two of those. A text, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a physical strength increase or physical um, defense increase and a magic defense increase. We also have magic attack value increase. I don't know who I'm going to use it on yet. Probably Adelie. Oh no. We'll see. But anyway, those uh, those items, they just increase your base stats. We'll just use an Adelie just so you guys can see what it's like. But they just increase your base stats. Adelie just got plus three magic attack. There you go. That might have been a waste, but who knows. Uh, let's head over to Setting Eternity's Night Moon, which is Moon Tree's area. Provided by CC Corp. Seven Council, huh? It's the governing board of Moon Tree. It's comprised of the top seven member officers in the guild. So, that snob Sakaki is one of them, huh? But all the same, why were we summoned here? Probably. Show him your sincerity, Haseo! If you apologize from your heart, the Seven Council will forgive you! Huh? Apologize? What the hell for? Why should I apologize to someone without knowing what's going on? Ah! Don't lose your temper! Calm down! Calm down! Again, what Haseo is saying is a fair point. He has no idea what's happening, and Adley's telling him he has to apologize. Why should he? And it looks like it does look like it's the Seven Council, by the way. Also, just something to check on. Yep. Put these guys on my list of people I have to come find. Oh, and you guys can see. It's Mellow Grunty from the quest line that we did when we became a guild leader. He says the same thing as before. Oh, that's a little spoilery, Mellow Grunty. Alright, let's head inside and find out what's going on. Because, yeah, no one's told us what's up yet. for the other day. I'm the Guildmaster, Sokova. Mr. Haseo and Miss Pai, thank you so much for coming here on such short notice. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kayade. I'm terribly sorry we weren't able to thank you properly for coming to aid us the other day. Everyone present here right now is in the position of helping to manage Moon Tree. Moon Tree is comprised of seven units. The members of the Seven Council also serve as the captains of those units. This is the Guildmaster, and also the Unit 1 Captain, Master Zelkova. Sakaki of Unit 2. I am the Unit 3 Captain, Kaede, and Nala is the Captain of Unit 4. Hiragi is Captain of Unit 5, Sephora the Captain of Unit 6 and Matsu of Unit 7. 
Unfortunately, Nala, Hiragi, and Sephora could not be here today. But these seven make up the Seven Council. Master Zelkova said he wishes to properly thank you for saving him the other day. Thus, we sent Atali to come get you. Hey, this isn't what you said. Well, I guess I did log into the world without reading Kaede's email very closely. Ugh, that's just like you. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid this item cannot hope to express our gratitude, but please take it. <laughs> the irony, we got another text of power. Thank you, but I wonder what the guild master of a guild such as Moon Tree would be doing in a place like that. Oh, I was just there observing. What do you mean observing? It's all well and good that you're so curious, but consider the burden for me, who has to go with you everywhere. I don't see a problem with it. It's fine if Master Zelkova looks around at his leisure. The rest of us are here. We can stay and handle the routine tasks. And what exactly do you mean by that, Sakaki? <laughs> Even though he may be the Guildmaster, Master Zelkova is at the same time just another player. There must be times when he wishes to forget his role and play normally. I am merely suggesting that the rest of us won't have any problems supporting Moon Tree during those times when our Guildmaster is absent. But perhaps I wasn't clear enough. Uh, uh. Lately, there have been rumors that the Moon Tree Guild is now being run entirely by Sakaki. Sakaki's followers have been going around openly saying that Zelkova is just a figurehead. I see. So Moon Tree is split up into the Zelkova faction and the Sakaki faction, huh? Haseo! What? Haseo, you're participating in the arena tournament, right? I heard that the first round fight was great! Ah, uh, it was nothing. Ah, uh, I wish I could have seen it. I bet that your fight was really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> rumors are just rumors. There's no telling what actually happened. It was probably just a lucky victory. Say that again? Oh, I'm so sorry, really. I'm just the type who can never tell a lie. Shut up, you stupid yapping dog! What? Who are you calling a dog? You're always following Sakaki around like a helpless puppy. You couldn't look more like a dog if you tried. Why, you? Matsu. All right, fine. You'll find out soon enough. Hmm? Because guess what? You're gonna be facing me in the next round of the tournament! Whoa, really? That's amazing! I'll be sure to come watch! <clears throat> Mr. Haseo, Miss Pai, please allow me to show you the way out. No, we'll find it ourselves. Hey! Hmm? you haven't let your ability to anger others go to rust. That doesn't sound like a compliment to me. <sighs> it's your own business if you want to go around making enemies. Let me just say. From now on, refrain from using your avatar in the arena as much as possible. Uh, you're saying the same thing as Kuhn. 
What I am trying to tell you is that you are drawing too much attention. Like Gabi and Zelkova? Not only did you become famous for your miraculous come-from-behind victory, but guild masters from the two most powerful guilds are interested in you. No telling how many eyes will be on you. Even though avatars can't be seen by normal players. You never know what might lead to someone finding out about GU. In other words, stop doing things that could potentially draw attention to GU. Exactly. It would be bad for you if things like avatars and epitaph users become public knowledge and get in your way of searching for Triage. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. I'll think about it. Don't just think about it, all right? You need to act on it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Since we're all done here, I guess I'll be leaving. See you, Haseo. Sure. Man, what was up with that Zelkova kid? Is he really the guildmaster for such a huge guild? What a difference from Gavi. Guess I'll log out and check my email or something. So Adelie jumped to conclusions. We aren't actually in trouble. Zelkova wanted to thank us properly and gave us another one of those tomes, so we'll go ahead and pop it. And now Haseo has the attention of two of the biggest guild's masters. And we find out who our next uh, our next opponent's going to be. Well, there's not much else for us to go do. We'll go check our email. So we've got three messages. This one from Gaspard. A good luck. Oh, a level up zone. Thanks, Gaspard. Uh, Adelie. Of course, Adelie had jumped to a conclusion. Wait, hang on a second. What's this? Oh, we have to respond to it. We either ask about Matsu or Zolkova. We'll ask about Matsu. He's our next next person we have to fight. So we'll ask about him. And then CC Corp telling us about the next round. A fight with the captain of Moon Trees Unit 7, huh? Guess I should go register. Now, before we do that... Let's go do this level up zone. I think the time right before the. Uh... I'll need to register for the second round fight at the arena counter. Gotta get Adelie and Syllabus. The times right before the matches are when everyone's online, so you can do these missions. So we're gonna grab Adelie and Syllabus check the level of this mission, and depending upon what it is, we may do it. No. Bookmark. Here we go. Area where it's given by Gaspard. Yo, this zone is actually really strong. We're doing it. So this is kind of like a secondary thing. You don't really have to do this. I'd have to do this on camera, so to speak, but it's a short episode right now, so I did want to get some more information in. Oh, they got me right on the attack. Oh, we're gonna block this. So later, things get a little more interesting when we unlock the ability to switch weapons in combat via 
via abilities, I believe, is what it's done, or the way they do it. Uh, no, 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 no. Can I not target the other dude? What? Okay. Oh, so he's dead. Okay, I was gonna say. That's not fair. They will unlock the ability to change um, weapons via skills. This is gonna be really, really good for experience. So we'll clear off this zone. Oh, ooh, a battle. Let's get in on that. Uh, equipment. We want to keep this light ranking up to max rank, so we'll also send up oh, well. Mecha Grunty. All right, let's go ahead and head into this battle arena. Oh, we found a PK. It's Ninja Toe. We got an achievement. PK in for life. I think Steam might be in big picture mode right now. Hopefully it doesn't affect the recording. Because that is not what that usually looks like. Hang on. Okay, no, that didn't work. Okay, so maybe it's not in big picture mode. Maybe I'm just imagining things. So usually you would want to use something like... Something like the broadsword would be better to break for these. But I'm just using the twin dagger so we can get its, uh, its weapon skill up. I didn't mean to hit that. But it did interrupt his ability, so I'm okay with it. As you can see, enemies actually do damage to us now. Adelaide's having to heal quite a bit. We're actually having to use abilities, like Beast Awakening. Take him out really quick. So I'm sure you guys can tell, because of all the different updates, this is going to take a long time to get through every single game to get into episode 4. So I know it hasn't a problem yet, and I don't think it'll be a problem moving forward. You guys have been pretty cool about this, but I really appreciate no spoilers um, from volume 4. It's going to be a while before I get to it, since we're going through all of these volumes, 1 through 3. Which we could just go into volume 4 immediately, but... I don't know, man. I kind of want to have all of them on the YouTube channel. From 1 all the way through to 4. Plus, there's a lot I don't remember about the games. I can change targets. Why can't I change targets? Is it because he's dead? No, he's not dead. I should be able to change targets. Why is it not working anymore? That's so silly. Normally you can change targets with the uh, the D-pad, but it's not working for me right now. Dude, you still haven't gotten through the shield? Come on, what are you doing, Celibus? Syllabus is weapon level one up. Uh, let's head. Let's finish this area off and then head north. Okay, we need to actually switch equipment because if I use these the whole way through, it's going to take forever. That's 
so good. It's a little weird. You have to like tap the attack button and then hold it at the right time to get the uh, the second part of it. So this is just a two part combo. It's just a little odd to get the timing for. Oh, for 29 now. This is definitely a power level. Adelie's SP is getting kind of low. We might have to use an SP healing item soon. And moving forward, I'm going to be looking into figuring out proper cuts and things of that sort, so we'll have episodes a little bit more action-packed, um, slightly more, or slightly better structured, I guess you could say. We're good on Chim's fears for a little bit. I'm surprised they didn't actually see us from back there. Really? Yeah, my, uh, hmm? I guess I'll have to look into that after this episode, but my target changing is not working. Maybe it's, let's see. Quick mid-game changes, let's see if that makes a difference. No. Something might be up with the controller. That's alright. We'll figure that out later. Nice part about the broadsword is there is a bit of super armor. So you can get through your combos relatively easily. There's a boss monster with face here, right? Yep. So no beast statue. We're just clearing out the area and then fighting the boss monster. Nothing too complicated. We've already kicked this tree. Probably farm chim spheres for here, from here for a while. Alright, then we teleport. I'm actually pretty excited for our level 30 weapons. I'm pretty sure that's the first one we get where it's a hold for, uh, For uh, twin daggers, which will be kind of nice. Oh, get the block in. This whole unable to change uh, change targets is going to be a problem for me. Oh, we just hit level thirty. Speaking of new equipment. We have f one, two, three, four, five of them. We have five of these swords. Okay. Customize. Remove. And then put it on this new one. Oh, we also need to customize this. Maybe put poison on the twin daggers. Yep. Oh, there's a lucky animal back here. That's pretty useful. So the day that I lose a race has come. Guess this is all part of life. Let me give you a hand. Here. You barely got away from me. I think it just max out our HP and our SP. Actually, he might have just made it higher than it was previously.
Go ahead and finally start heading south. And our first look at our new weapon. Can just sit here and juggle these guys. Oh, that's gonna have to change. Hang on one second. Oh, it is totally in big picture mode. That's weird. We'll have to leave it as is for right now, guys. So sorry about the pop-ups. <laughs> um, I'll get the fix for next episode. I'm not sure why Steam is in big picture mode. That's really, really weird. But it definitely should not be. Unless it's like a new Steam update, and if it is, Steam, we're fighting. Nah, that's how to just be big picture mode. Rant incoming, by the way, so while we're just going through killing these mobs, we'll talk about another series I kind of wanted to do. So, um, they did a PC release for the SAO game, Hollow Realization, and I wanted to play it, but the PC release's controls are probably the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's not that they're unplayable, it's that they're unfun. Like, really, really unfun. I think the worst part about it is, um... The game innately has, like, a control setup for, um, controller. Because I know you're thinking, you know, if the you know, PC controls suck, like, keyboard and mouse controls suck, then just play with controller. You know, that... Are you trying to spam rep from back there? Okay, you know, calm down, Adelie. Oh, yeah, we have extra HP from Lucky Animal. But anyway, so, you know, I, you know what you're thinking. If it... The, keyboard and mouse controllers suck, then play with controller, right? Well, it doesn't innately work. Controller doesn't just work from the get-go for some reason. You have to do some finagling to get it to work in the first place, and I just haven't had the patience to get that to work just yet. Because I want to do some recording and have that as a second game I do on my channel right now. But, uh, it just hasn't been working. So yeah, it's really, really annoying. Alright, let's go ahead and attack this guy. And then we'll pop our Beast Awakening. I'm gonna swap equipment really quick. Oh, these can have more than one on them. You can't customize during a battle. This is probably my favorite. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we got put to sleep. Should have blocked there. There we go. We're basically tanking right now. Aw, oh, come on. Yeah, this hold effect's probably my favorite one. Oh, I should have known. Oh, it sucks when you get into that point, you can't stop it. That's how that's supposed to- oh, we got put to sleep. Needs to wake us both up at the same time. Nice, nice. Oh, and we got a weapon level up. We learned Sword Dance. It's kind of why I wanted to stick to this one weapon type. Alright, so we talked to all those dudes, and we finished this zone up. Let's head back to town. We missed two objects, got a bunch of chimp spheres. Okay, not too bad. Got an S rank and got a word, saddened.
All right. So I think we'll go ahead and cut it there. On the next episode, we need to head over to the the arena counter and register for our match against Matsu. Should be fun. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.